gang and fellas, I'm Autoshit, this is another episode of Uncharted 4 A Thief's Sand, and in today's episode we are getting to fuck out of Scotland. Probably ain't the best thing to start swearing right off the bat in a YouTube video, but this to not be a problem. Guess I gotta keep up with the time. Man, this shotgun is kinda garbage, not gonna lie. Yeah, I got a feeling these crates ain't gonna live through that. Oops, I can jump on that. Sam, stop scaring me. Look where the enemy. And yeah, the shotgun in this game is like a two shot kill kind of weapon, and the last game. It used to kill enemies in one shot when you were close to them. Now it seems like no matter how far from the enemy I am, it's always two shots. Damn, I could use some fucking grenades. Oh, come on. Or even worse, it's a free shot kind of kill weapon when you're really far from the goddamn enemy. Maybe I should get on that fucking turret. You think it's a turret section? Oh, and I can't fucking reach them. What a bunch of assholes. What, I didn't get to shoot anyone? Oh, that's such a fucking... Look, it's still better than the AK. AK fucking sucks ass in this game. I have barely any ammo for it. And the pistol is the best fucking weapon anyway. Oh shit, Sam, sniper! Find cover! Sniper? Where is he? Ah, oh, I thought they were explosive barrels. What sniper? He's only a sniper because he's got a stupid laser sight on his gun. Bro, I want a fucking sniper rifle. I didn't main sniper in TF2 for nothing. Maybe I'll get into Uncharted 4 as fucking multiplayer. Maybe I'll be playing it like regularly and shit. Hold on, there's a sniper rifle. Hold on, I didn't load it. Sniper rifles in this game are always fun. They're the real one shot, one kill weapon. Good thing this isn't TF2 because if I had to aim exclusively for heads with a controller, I'd think I shit myself before I fucking pull that off. Bro, that's a dope fucking gun. See, sniper rifle is like a long range version of the shotgun because it should fucking. That's what I'm saying. The shotgun should just kill enemies in one shot. Didn't trade it my fucking range for firepower only for the firepower to suck anyway. That nice shit. on that. See, that's fucking awesome. It's the most fun in this in this entire series when you have to shoot and kind of move at the same time, right? When you're in a big open location, you gotta defend enemies and they start getting around you. That's when it kind of gets annoying, like in the last couple of episodes. But when you have to push, that's, that's the most fun, I'd say. That should be a mode in multiplayer of Uncharted 2. I mean, 3, 4. 3, 4, 2, I don't fucking know. 4. Look at that shoreline branded fucking... What would you call this, a crane? It's pretty cool. What was I saying? Oh yeah, that there should be like a mod. 
mode in the multiplayer where for example the map is like really long one team's at the end the other team's pushing Reminds me of that chase in Uncharted 2. I suppose every fucking ooh, an even different sniper rifle. Hold on, I still have ammo for this one. Whoops. Whoops. Thanks. Right after I missed miserably. Ah, it's one of those. That's cool. A much more accurate guy with a scope so I can fucking aim accurately? That's what you should fucking be, you dumbass piece of garbage. Fucking Russian invention. Might not be handy, but fuck it, I don't care. Damn, I fucked them up. Two shots, and they're dead. Damn, where the fuck you sliding, bro? Try to reload while sliding. Oh, this gun is wonderful. It's exactly what the AK was. I was trying to do with it. It's still kind of jumpy. And I bet it's not as common to get it, but I bet later in the game we'll probably never even see the AK make a comeback. We'll get like M4s and shit, maybe some other guns, maybe some new guns that weren't in the last previous games. Alright, catching up with Sully, getting the fuck out of here. So funny enough, we didn't run into Rafe. I guess a reunion with Rafe could wait. I don't know. Seems like Nadine is the one who does does all the work around here, and Rafe just simply put throws money around. Also, this gun is not even like you can't even shoot it full auto. So it's exactly what I wanted that at the AK. What a wonderful weapon. Where the fuck? Oh, okay. Here the fuck. Swim, swim, swim. Is that a new plane, Sully? Looks different than the last plane. I love Sully's fucking... The plane that lands on the water is called like a... Uh... I don't know what's it called. Uh, I forget. One, huh? one of the cool things that you could actually unlock it in Vice City plane. Stories. We're fine, thanks. And in the original the Vice City you didn't hit a plane no that you could fly. Not yet. So Vice City Stories is the first time about. you could actually Look, fly around a rich. plane around Vice City. I bet GT6 will feature that too. You think the rest is in Madagascar? I'm glad that Vice City, I mean GTA 6, here. is gonna be Jack primarily focused Madagascar on Vice City and the so. outskirts of it, yeah. instead of doing the whole America like it's people were thinking. And those reports okay. said there were the, the game was also gonna take place in South America. It's like I said, I think Avery was. I think there might be a chapter or two where it like Ross takes you away from the city and it's like in a more scripted location, just like Guarma and Red Dead 2. So we all passed, huh? Congrats, Victor. We get eye patches and parrots now. I don't get it. Why the hell would they go to all that bother just to weed people out? To protect himself. Look, Avery was the most wanted man in the world at that time. He had to enlist people that he could trust in order to keep their treasure secret. What do you mean, their treasure? Just think about this. Thomas, too, was a successful pirate in his own right. What would he possibly stand to gain from joining Avery? I think Avery sent across his 
only to the other wealthy pirates like himself. What if they pooled and hid all their treasure together? That would make the guns way all look like chump change. Exactly. <laughs> Why would they do that, though? Why would they okay, agree so to do that? Exactly in Madagascar. We go. Kings Bay. It was an old pirate haven back in uh, Avery's time. I know it well. It's a big place. Anything more specific? Well, that map chamber completely caved in, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I memorized it all. Did you? The people who survived the caves. The recruits. What's the one thing they would have left with? What a coin? There's a volcano on us. There's a volcano near King's Bay. Which means we need to get a move on. Get a move on to a much more colorful and a much more warmer place than Scotland. There was Sony fucking branding, that's nice. Yakuza 6 also featured the fucking Sony product placement. Because when it came out originally, it was uh, hey, Nate. Sony exclusive. Oh. Oh, look at that. Nate's got a fucking Kabura. There was once an attempt at a spiritual successor to Captain Bomb called Captain Kabura, and it was fucking... It was underwhelming. I watched it once, I think it had two seasons, and I watched it, and I don't remember shit from it. So are you gonna start work tomorrow? Uh, postponed, actually. Uh, looks like we're gonna... Need maybe another ten days or something. Like it wasn't oh, bad or anything. It just was kind of didn't hit the hey, same well, charm uh, as the original. Why don't I just uh, go ahead and buy a ticket then? Uh, you know, you don't have to do that. That's fine. I mean, you know, these guys always overestimate things. So I'm sure it'll be less time than that. Okay, well. You know, Elena's smelling bullshit. Oh, I will. Always do. Uh, listen, I, I'm I'm sorry. I gotta go. Jameson's calling me over. Okay. I love you. How about you give your phone to Jameson, hmm? Just so I can see he's really fucking there. Damn it, Elena smell is bullshit through the phone. Uh, there's like a little bit of the It's like a little yeah, bit of Uncharted it. theme song. I lost the signal. Nate is looking like Nathan Drake you know all of a what? sudden. Never lose his signal? Paper. Damn it, you all fucking right, boomer. Right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy though. Let's get the show on the road. Check this out, we get to drive a fucking jeep. So, Man, I'd love to drive a fucking for? jeep like that, I love well, jeeps. Map shows all these structures if I, if I'm buying a car in the future, fuck this structure. I'm gonna drive to, off a cliff, where's the nearest cliff? I had to. That was fun so, though. What are we looking for out here? Well, Their the conversation just interrupted by them screaming. Nate, the what exactly made you think that the road led off a cliff? Can I fucking drift? One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. Fuck yeah, I can drift. This shit's awesome. Drift around. Man, you know what would be fucking badass? If you could fucking, if there was like a race. I mean, there is a lot of car chase sequences later, but if there was like a fucking race, like one chapter where you for some reason have to race a car, because the fucking driving physics in this game and the driving mechanics are really fucking good. And see, I was saying uh, two episodes ago or three. What, how cool would it be if someone took all these mechanics of Uncharted, like climbing and the shooting mechanics being really, really good? Still do a lot of traveling these days. I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. And they made an open world GTA kind of thing like that because fucking GTA, as brilliant of a series as it is, 
Really isn't a good shooter. It always wasn't. It was always just fucking serviceable at best. Talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. Yes, I can see that. Antiquity Ma- what the fuck are they talking about? I was about to say how Victor actually has a smartphone and he doesn't have any stupid lines about oh man these darn things I don't understand them. Hmm. Not much to see here. Grandma never hit a oh yeah and you had a fucking hook. That's for later though. Well, ah nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Just some bullshit. Just some bullshit collectible and that's it. Oh come on. The water goes through the texture of the car. Now that's a kind of kind of a shitty detail. So I suppose when you have a video game and you have a water level anywhere, the water is just a flat texture and not an actual liquid, because liquids don't fucking exist in video games. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. I gotta destroy every single dumbass rock structure that these stupid native people of this dumbass land build. I gotta prove my superiority as the fucking white man showing up in Africa, crashing their whatever the fuck towers. Gotta fucking highlight how superior I am. Best they can fucking build is a tower made of rocks, and I got, I'm gonna show over, fucking destroy this shit. Like a true descendant of Sir Francis, Sir Francis Drake. Just, you know, Sir Francis Drake was a British colonizer. Check it out, I'm gonna drive into a goddamn cave. A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we're on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? Sam made fun of Cod Coco. First time out here was for a swap. Stolen diamonds. <laughs> of course, the deal went bad and I got arrested. That's where I'm the police chief. Yes, of course. And in the process of negotiating. <laughs> and I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, hell, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, mistake. Yeah, I had a feeling it was her. Oh, I got a fucking gun. It's been a few years since we've seen it. Maybe time for a visit. Maybe. Wait, it's been a few years. First, let's wrap this up. See, there's so much fucking lore between fucking and Solly's life. I need a spin-off. I need a fucking trilogy of fucking Solly focused games. Give me that, please. It's a gold mine of right, opportunities. I feel like Solly's a bit sleazy for this shit to work. Like what, would you fucking... A little warning next time. That's the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. I don't really do two showers in one day. More like one shower in two days. That's more like it. Because who needs a fucking shower? I don't know, I shower when my hair starts to look like garbage. Sorry. I don't remember the last time we... Actually, we did drove a jeep. No way, that was Elena driving the jeep in Uncharted 1. We were on the gunner on the turret that was attached to the jeep. Then she also drove a truck in Uncharted 2. And there was a fucking horse chase sequence, but horse is not a car. So I don't that think we ever drove a car in this series. <laughs> Guys, brace it. It ain't exactly like we're driving on a road. I'm driving in some fucking mud. Are we going? Oh my fucking god. You fucking native. Must be a trail mark. Let's keep an eye out for them. And fucking destroy each and every single one. <laughs> I was just joking with the whole uh, this looks superiority come thing on, because on, you know Nathan uh, Drake go, go, is go, the go, descendant, go. or at least he claimed to be the descendant of Sir Francis Drake, and he was a colonizer. That was the joke. Now speaking as Nathan Drake, not that I feel fucking superior to African tribes. Another one down. 
Don't drop us. Bridge better keep fucking. Keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus. Don't worry about it. There's a fucking car similar to this. It's called Suzuki Jimmy. And man, that's a car I'd like to have. It's like a small Jeep. And it's so cool. Upward upward. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere fast. Maybe I gotta drive on the rocks more. Have more fucking attachment, so to you say. I know that's what Stay I'm trying to do. Rocks. I got it. I got it. I'm driving on the rocks. Maybe that side. Or is that side even worse? No, it's even more mud. I need traction here. I was driving on the rocks. There you go. This game is also a fucking brilliant off-road simulator. You know what's fucking cool? I've seen so many like reactions to... I've seen so many reactions to like guns in video games and if they're realistic or not and how the character handles them. <laughs> Or oh, even swordplay or armor sets. What about reactions to fucking car handling in video games? Though I feel like video games probably portray car handling pretty realistically. One time someone said to me that the most realistic video games out there are racing games. And that's true because all it has to simulate is just a car. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Oh, Queen King Julian. Nice. Look, it's so fucking shitty. It hey, just Victor, collapses what when I touch it. With the guy about? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a four x four with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off road. It might rain. Might be muddy. Let me go through this hole. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Whoops, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm falling off. Oh man, this is gonna hurt. Oh boy. It would have hurt in real life. Now in this game this car is probably not designed to ever Nice. Ever fall over. How long is this episode? Twenty-two minutes. I mean we started in Scotland, that's what I love about this series. Sometimes when I play a video game it feels yeah. like it takes me like 10 episodes just to make from one location to the next. Like when I'm playing Skyrim, I go to a dungeon, and then I'm in that dungeon for like 5 episodes straight. And that's all we do. And here in this fucking game, we just went to Scotland where it was cold and grey, and now we're all of a sudden we're in Africa where it's colorful and sunny. One of the scariest parts about Africa, but I don't know about that for sure. It's just that, well, there's a lot of fucking, like, diseased, riddled fucking mosquitoes and other fucking awful insects flying around. I'd be scared to be in Africa. And go. And no. That was a valiant effort. Alright. See, that's what Let's I go got this fucking tower. winch for. Alright, I guess we're gonna check out the tower. I gotta use the winch. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. Before we get into awful gunfights. I mean awful, awful because it ruins my lovely adventure driving around Africa. Check it out, you can kinda see where we started. I think we started from over there. Drove that way, around there was the bridge. That fucking collapsed. That bridge was probably there for like years and I fucking showed up and destroyed it. Why is there no button just pull the gun away? Oh, I can highlight the car. That's cool. What is that? Some piece of trash. Well, that's something. A snake. 
Sam. Or Wait, serpent. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. Is uh, captain of the fiery dragon. Operated out of Madagascar around Avery's Fiery time. dragon. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Henry Avery. What the fuck is his name? Henry Avery? Must have been one charismatic guy if he managed to pull a bunch of pirates together to hide their treasure together. What the fuck? Is Madagascar really this barren? I always imagined it to be a giant jungle. But I guess it just shows what I fucking know about the world. Look, a bunch of cows. I'm gonna kill them all. I don't want to waste ammo on some shitty fucking cows. Alright, gotta use the winch. That's something that comes in handy very often in normal life. Unless you live in Africa. Are you hanging, Solly? You know, it's nice that Solly joined us on this adventure, because he's still part of this entire ordeal. And you know what, the fact that he knows we lied to Elena, it's, it kind of sucks, you know? That ought to do it. So far, we're not too deep into trouble. I mean, we have a fucking private army on our ass and everything. They don't exactly like us to be here, but... Could have been worse. They could have been actively right, gunning for us. Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. Got stuck on a rock. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big Ouch, ones. if I get hit with that. We conquered the fucking hill. Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Glad the volcano. Just imagine. You've come here. A well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. Ain't exactly a thing you can do nowadays, is it? forever to get to this volcano. Where would you run? Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, you know, still taking a long time. Are you saying that we should fucking also follow the stars just so we would get a proper experience? Oh wait a minute. Can I destroy this like with hands? I wanna see. I'm gonna hop out for a look. Bring me back oh my god, I can't. Just beat the shit out of those. It's it's strangely fucking satisfying. Proving my superiority that is. Wonder if the shit up there. I found a, a toilet paper. If anyone wants to wipe their ass, then I got some ancient scrolls. I'm good. Let's go. Now I gotta get out of the car every time I see one of those and beat it up. That's my objective now. I think that's an achievement you get if you fucking destroy all of these. That's another reason why I'm doing that, but I don't know the location of all of them. You know, I, I don't think Naughty Dog would be fucking evil enough to hide treasures in oh random boy. locations in a, such a huge open area. Like, what if there's a fucking treasure between those rocks over there? What if there's a treasure, I don't fucking know, in the mud over here? Or up there? I don't fucking know. Could be anywhere. Could be anywhere and everywhere. Hey, hey, check out that cave there. It probably's got some fucking treasure. Stay put. You got something, kid? I don't know, I just got here. Look at that. A fat ass. Looks like... <laughs> it looks kind of funny. This is like a crate. 
Uh, wish I could open it and check out what's inside. Cause who the fuck left two crates in a cave? Just like that. A bit strange, isn't it? Oh my fucking god. Alright, let's go. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Happy hunting. <laughs> I love it. I don't know. What what about it? It's Ready? so fucking fun. There's something about it so fucking funny. I didn't know you can beat them up, I knew you can drive them over. Oh shit, stop, stop! I see him. Then why is the shoreline already blowing shit up in Africa? They just got here. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. What if he just randomly ran into like some kind of fucking African militia? It's like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? What if there was more evil forces after the trash than just Rafe and a shoreline? Oh, there was like two other mercenary groups looking for this shit. I think it wouldn't be worth chasing after it. Because fucking Nate doesn't have a private army. He's fucking... If he was caught between two different private armies... It's kind of what happened in Cold Golden Abyss, where you actually have two different armies you fight against. There's the local fucking Mexican, I mean not Mexican, I fucking know what country, I think Cuban rebels and shit. And you got Dante, that was the guy from Golden Abyss, with his private army that he bought. Maybe that was Shoreline, who knows. I mean this jeep is fucking awesome, I want a card like that. So I think the episode's over, see you fellas in the next episode, bye.